guys, I was tagged by Key Read That and etc. Actually, I don't know if it's Key Read That or Key Read That. Either way, I'm gonna leave the link to her channel down in the description box below. She's great, definitely go check her out. Now let's get started with the book selection tag. Let me just let you know that I have not finished the selection. I've only read book one and I hardly remember what I read from that book because I read so long ago. The only reason why I'm doing it is because I do remember about the casts or case. They're like the society you belong to, I guess. Like number one, royalty, number two, actress, famous. Anyways, that's how the tag is going to work. We go off on the uh, I don't know how to pronounce it if I don't know if it's cast or case that someone belongs to like you know Prince Maxon is in case one because he's royalty it goes down the line to America I think America is number five because I, I think she's like a singer and following that cast or case number is a question that I have to choose a book from behind here and a character and hopefully it'll explain itself out. I'm sorry I suck at explaining tags. I really do. If you look at my other tag videos, you'll see that I suck at explaining tag videos. Maybe you'll get a feel of how it is after I start. So let's just get started. One is royalty and the question is what royal character from a book would you want as a role model? I'm gonna go with Vampire Academy. This is actually the last book in the series. Vampire Academy is like way in the back, so I'm a little lazy to get it out. So I'm just gonna go with Vampire Academy, Lissa. Lissa is an amazing character. She's full of grace and she knows how to handle herself in a tough situation. All I keep thinking as I'm saying this is Silver Shadows, Silver Shadows casts, Two are actors slash actresses. And the question is, what character would you like to play in a movie adaptation of a book? Oh my god. For this one, I would like to portray Ruby from the Darkest Mind trilogy. I'm currently reading The Darkest Minds and it has so much action and Ruby is so badass and I just, oh man, I would really like to be in this movie, especially since there's a lot of action in this series. I just, I love action. And I would love to perform my own stunts. S3 is educators. And the question is, what book would you put on a school reading list? Huh, this is a toughie. Um, definitely a Sarah Dessen book, just because it deals with a lot of um, real life issues and basically all those uh, classic books that are on the reading list like The Great Gatsby and To Kill a Mockingbird, all those classics have some type of lesson at the end. As to which one, I do not know which one. I love all her books except The Moon and More. I'm sorry. It's just The Moon and More wasn't one of my favorite ones that she's done, but I would definitely choose one of these ones down here since they're all not this one. This one. I think I'd either choose What Happened to Goodbye or Dreamland just because those two really deal with really tough issues that people do need to be aware of, especially Dreamland. That book, um, when I first read it, I was like, whoa. I was in high school and I was reading about that. If I had to choose between those two though, I think I would say Dreamland just because it's a little shorter. Dreamland has... Um, peer pressure issues, falling in love with the wrong person, and being in a bad relationship. So I really think Dreamland is a good book to have on a school reading list. Cast number four is Jeweler, Jewelers, I cannot say that word, is Jewelers, <laughs> I can't say that. Oh, this is when speaking two languages does not come in handy. Mother is cooking and it smells so good. Cast number four is Jewelers? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that again. That's my last time I'm trying. What piece of jewelry from a book would you love to own? I'm gonna go way far back, far, far back. Um, I would love to own Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem before Voldemort decided to make it into a Horcrux. You know, for that little small period of time. I don't know if that counts, but it's the only type of jewelry that it comes to mind right now. When I signed on to Pottermore, all I kept thinking is I want to be in Gryffindor. Harry, Hermione, 
and Ron are in it. Especially Ron. I want to be in Ron's house so we can, you know, I can show him that he does not need Hermione. Like, I'm right here, Ron. I'm right here. But when I took the test, it sorted me into Ravenclaw. And as I was reading the description, I don't know if you guys read the description or not, but I read the description about the Ravenclaw house and I was like, my gosh, I do belong here. This I'm actually a Ravenclaw. After that, I always identify myself as Ravenclaw, no matter what, and Ravenclaw's rules. Cast number five is musicians slash artists. And the question is, choose three songs that match three books. <gasps> okay, I think I got it, alrighty, okay. First one is Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead. And for those who have read this, I'm pretty sure you know which part I'm talking about, you know, all the yeah that part the song that always kept coming to my mind was haunted by taylor swift blood promise though wasn't my favorite it was a really dark dark place for both rose and dimitri so haunted by taylor swift just kept popping into my head and i couldn't help it like every time i hear haunted by taylor swift images of what i've read in this book just pop into my head and i can't help it and it's just Mm. In my mind, I feel like they're a great pairing. It's like they're perfect for each other. Song number two is Mean by Taylor Swift, and that is for Some Girls Are. If you haven't caught on yet, I love Taylor Swift. I'm sure I should do the Taylor Swift book tag, but right now, <laughs> one tag at a time. This book is full of mean girls, and by gosh, it's so intense. Mmm. Mm. It just reminds me of when I was in high school. People can be cruel. One day you can belong to the it crowd and the next something happens and suddenly they block you out like you are nothing. And the last one is Silver Shadows by Rochelle Mead and the song is Marry You by Bruno Mars. I just kept thinking about that song. I don't know if it was because I was on a Glee kick and I kept listening to the Glee version of Marry You because you know who doesn't listen to it. But the song just kept popping up and then when that happened, I was like, ah, what? Cast six. What dress from a book cover would you let your seamstress make for your coronation day? It is between Clockwork Princess, this dress, I love the circle fiction dresses, and this one. But <laughs> I don't know which one to choose. So my seamstress is going to have, um, she's gonna have to do them both. I want both, you know? It'll be like a sweet 16. I'll switch in the middle of the coronation to the next dress. Number seven is gardeners, and the question is, what book would you give to your gardener as an inspiration for castle grounds? Ha! It's a no-brainer one. I'm definitely choosing the Hogwarts. I want my castle to be as big as Hogwarts and then I'll open my own Hogwarts and then I'll send out letters. And last but not least is number eight and that's Runaways. What character from a book would you help run away from home? I'm just gonna say Silver Shadows by Rochelle Mead again and I'd help Sydney and Adrian run away from the evil alchemists. That's all I'm gonna say. Now it's time to tag people, and I tag you, whoever is watching it. You don't necessarily have to read the whole series to do this tag. Like I said, I did not read it all. I should probably, though, read it, all of it, but I'll get to it. That is all I have for you guys today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!